coping mechanisms allowed them to come forward, and we'll talk about it. Charles worked for the Boston Red Sox in 1991, the same year that Fitzpatrick was finally let go. When he got fired, nobody came looking for me. Nobody, you know, maybe I would have came forward. What kind of monetary compensation are you seeking for your clients? I'm seeking $5 million per client. I will be filing lawsuits in the future with the cases I'm allowed to file. Uh, because of statute limitations. Are you concerned that Charles's case is beyond the statute of limitations? Well, what I've done with cases were beyond the statute of limitations. I've approached the organization. I've said, listen, you have to do the right, the correct moral thing. The Boston Red Sox those children. The Red Sox have been under a different ownership for many, many years. Is it incumbent upon them to acknowledge this? Yes, it, it certainly is. They've inherited the assets and the liabilities of the Boston Red Sox. So they have to be responsible for the bad things, too. The Red Sox have mediated this issue before. In 2002, Lirani and six others settled a civil lawsuit from the Red Sox. I like an apology to happen at Finley Park where it happened. Deserve to be acknowledged. We want to really morning people with vampires after all.